Now we are set to break 100 degrees by the weekend, so it is officially beyond hot here in Tucson. Yes, and Andrea Mitchell is here from the Humane Society of Southern Arizona to tell you about some offers to find your forever friend and how to keep them safe in this hot weather. Andrea, thank you so much for coming. Hi, thanks for having us. You have a very energetic, very oh, excited found to be your friend <laughs> who knows how to find tr hidden treats. Yes. So who yes. is this? That we this have? is Ford. Ford is an American bulldog mix. He's about one year old. And he uh, he found he found the stash back yeah, here, so we're all out gone. of treats. So we're out of treats uh, to keep his attention. But he is such a great dog. I know he looks like a big tough guy, um, but you can see like on Ford's sweet little face how he's sort of sensitive around the eyes and around the nose. And so we want to make sure that every pet gets a perfect home this summer that comes into our care. But we want to make sure also that everybody knows how to keep them safe because it is about to get hot. It's about to get like 111 this week. Yeah, we, we've all been been talking about that, the temperature this weekend and everybody's preparing, but we need to prepare for our dogs and like you said, protect them. So what are some good reminders for everybody? Exactly. So I was looking some stuff up the other day and I saw a little graph that showed that in a car, an idle car parked without the AC on and the windows up, if it's 70 degrees outside, within 30 minutes, the inside of that car can reach 104 degrees. Our temperature is going to be 111 to start out. Can you even imagine how hot that it's going to be inside yeah. of a car after 30 minutes? So not only is it super dangerous to leave your pets inside your vehicle, but also in the state of Arizona, it's against the law. So we want to remind people, even if you're just running into the grocery store, you're just going to run in and grab one thing. It's extremely dangerous for your pets. And you can also get into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen, I feel like we've all seen those posts on Facebook uh, where people will break the windows out because yeah. a dog is in a car yeah. and they look like they're endangered and in distress and, and that is potentially the best thing for them. So if you're going to be running errands, the best thing could be just to leave your pet at home. Yeah. If you don't know that all the establishments you're going to be at are pet friendly. So you can leave them at home. Also, you can make sure that when you take them for a walk that your dogs are protected because the pads of their feet are really, really sensitive, just like Ford's little nose and his eyes and his snout. His pads on his feet are, uh, they're, they're like human skin and yep. you, you wouldn't want to be walking around. Exactly. He's Who are you talking screen. to? <laughs> do you have any other tips for kind of keeping our pets cool this summer? So what we do at the Humane Society, every morning we have volunteers that come in and uh, we stop all walks when it's 95 degrees outside. So that sometimes means that you have to get your walks in a little bit early. If your pet is outside on a grass lawn, they, uh, they regulate their temperature by their feet and their bellies. So if your dog's out on the lawn and there's grass and there's maybe a little kiddie pool or water to play with, then, then they could be fine playing outside for a while, you know, but you just want to make sure that you know the signs of if your dog is in distress. If they're alternating lifting their paws up, that could mean that it's a little bit too hot for them. Um, or if they're oh, are you heat seeing yourself forward? <laughs> or if they're seriously panting, things like that, then you should, uh, you should get your dog inside and get them a ton of water. And we also have some great specials that uh, the Humane Society is doing for everyone that has dogs. Yeah, we do. So we're having our, uh, our summer sizzler. It's happening right now. We are offering $15 spay and neuter surgeries for <laughs> essentially ahead. puppies who are between the ages of three months and 12 months. They have to be under 60 pounds, so I don't know if you're a dog. Nope. Would have <laughs> right, yeah. So, My baby's 95. <laughs> right, yeah. So <laughs> dogs like that don't count. Don't count. Yeah. We still do neuter and spay them. It's just a different price. Yeah. So, so you can call our shelter and we can get that special for you, $15 plus the purchase of a, an e-collar to make sure that their spay and neuter sites stay nice and clean. And then if you're interested in kitties, we... Yeah. We just did Cinco de Gato, and right now it is kitten season. We've got a ton of those cute kitties in foster care. So our special for kitten adoptions, it's going to be $150 to take home two kitties. Oh, Yeah, which is so sweet. And it's nice whenever you adopt a cat to, uh, to sort of have a friend for them to play with, especially oh, yeah. when they're like kitten age and they're sort of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Very energetic. Yeah. Well, we're going to make sure we take advantage of all of these specials. We're going to find Ford a great home. I think you were just talking to yourself in the monitor. I, I think know. you saw yourself, cute little baby. Andrea, thank you so much. Easily, this is information that we need to be reminded as the temperatures heat up. If you're going to go for some run some errands, just leave the dog home in the AC. Dog's yeah. going to thank you later for it. Seriously. So remember, the Humane Society of Southern Arizona is offering a limited time spay and neuter special for puppies between the ages of 3 and 12 months and under. 60 pounds for just $15. For more information, you can give them a call at 327-6088. Go online to hssaz.org or go visit them. They're at 3450 North Kelvin Boulevard.